families and survivors came together to give others facing pancreatic cancer a fighting chance. Naperville News 17's Rachel Pearson joined Naperville to walk in a day of hope. The fifth annual Naperville Pancreatic Cancer Research Walk brought together a community of people joining the fight against the disease. With pancreatic cancer accounting for about 3% of all cancers in the U.S. and about 7% of cancer deaths, locals felt the need to take action. I lost my father five years ago from pancreatic cancer. I know I have a very kind and generous community, so I reached out to the Lust Garden Foundation and offered an extension of an opportunity to come to Naperville so we can bring the walk here to this amazing um, community that I live in. They generously opened their doors and here we are today. This mile and a half walk allowed participants to stroll along the river walk in honor of survivors and in remembrance of those lost. When I found out my dad had pancreatic cancer, I had no idea what it was. So this is my way of telling, kind of letting people know what kind of disease this is and how terrible it is and trying to, you know, help others with it. With more than 400 participants, the event raised over $81,000 for the Lust Garden Foundation, which gives 100% of donations directly to pancreatic cancer research. The foundation aims to help find better treatments, early detection, and ultimately find a cure. Every month, every day, every week, something new comes out. I'm really kind of dedicated to being informed, you know, and keeping up on the new therapies, new possibilities that are out there. And it's just fantastic what's coming down the pipe. I mean, I really think they're going to cure this thing, and I want to be around for it. The Lust Garden Foundation is the largest private funder of pancreatic cancer research in the U.S. and continues to advance scientific and medical research. Reporting for Naperville News 17, I'm Rachel Pearson. In the past four years, this walk has raised over $166,000 for critically needed research. This year had the most walkers and donations to date. 